Okay, so first off, I want to welcome everybody to our session, GEC Connect the Game. Um, I want to say uh, a big thank you to the sponsors for this session, uh, participate, as well as others listed here. Um, Lucy, I see that you've joined. Are you, uh, are you available? I'm here. Okay, did you want to say anything about sponsors and supporters before I move into the presentation? Nope, you run your session. I'm just here to be a supporter. Okay, wonderful. Um, so first off, let's start with um, everyone sharing where you are location-wise. On the map, enable the whiteboard, and now you should be able to double-click the star and just share where you are from. Let's see, we've got uh, Midwest Chicago. That's probably Lucy. Some West Coasters. East Coast as well. Great. I am in Seattle, Washington, and we are known every once in a while for our crazy windstorms in the fall. So I have Wi-Fi right now and internet without any problems, but if we get a huge gust of wind and I go away, you will know why. Um, oh, I see, Randall, you're in Corvallis, so you might be experiencing some of the windstorms that we are also having here in the Pacific Northwest. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and move along to our main slide, which is game on. Yeah, lots of rain, too, for sure. We've had rain and windstorms today. Um, so this session is GEC Connect. It's about the game, GEC Connect, that we are going to be hosting during the conference. Um, I wanted to share just a little bit about myself. Um, the, the company I represent is Aludo, Aludo Learning. Um, I personally have over 25 years of technology consulting experience. I've supported clients and organizations, um, primarily K-12 and higher education. I worked at the University of Washington for quite a few years supporting them with adult learning and online curriculum design and development for the um, medical programs that came out of the School of Medicine, and I have quite a bit of experience in program management. Um, what I like the most about working with Aludo is that we have a lot of fun. Um, of course, we have a lemur for our mascot, so for me that is one of the most important things when it comes to fun. Um, how do you bring engagement into learning? How do you bring some fun into learning and collaboration. So that's what our organization is about. Um, I am going to talk more about the game for this presentation in GEC Connect. Towards the end of this, I am going to share a little bit more about Aludo for those of you that have questions or are interested. But the primary focus for this session is to talk about the game, how you get in, how you play, what we're going to be doing during the conference, and then we can shift and answer any questions that you have about the platform. All righty. So I'm going to get started um, with GEC Connect. So the Connect game is all about connecting and um, exploring and attending sessions and being part of the GEC Connect conference. And so Lucy and I, mostly Lucy, developed this game and designed an engaging um, platform, if you will, for people to go in, complete activities, and these activities are related to um, connecting during the conference, attending sessions, as well as explorations. So the first badge here um, is, the, is the sessions badge. So this is about attending the keynotes, sharing and learning from not only the presentations, but also those conversations that you have during the game. Um, the next one is connections. So connections is all social media, sharing, collaborating, and learning from each other through different platforms of engagement. So all about connecting. 
The third one, and my personal favorite with the balloon, is the exploration. This is really about diving deep into the resources, what you've learned during the conference, and more importantly, what you're going to apply. So um, just a little bit of the background on the badges and the missions that you will be doing while you're in the game. To get into the game itself, I think Lucy posted the link. Um, you want to go to GEC aludolearning.com and you're able to log in. Um, variety of different ways. You have Google, Outlook, you can go through your Facebook account, you could go through Twitter. The important thing when you log in though is whichever way you log in, you'll want to you'll want to log in um, through that same account. So you don't want to log in through Google and then log in through Twitter. You want to stay um, in one account if you can. Once you log in, you choose that account. In this case, I have my uh, Google account, and you log in. Um, first time you log in, it's going to ask you to set up your profile. Two things you need to do. One is you want to check um, GEC, select GEC as your uh, game. And then the second thing is you can add your Twitter account. One of the things that our platform allows you to do during the game and while you're playing is a social media integration with Twitter or Google Plus. So if you're interested in sharing your achievements and the points you're earning and what you're doing during the conference through your Twitter or Google Plus account, just make sure that you add your Twitter account handle and that the Twitter integration is checked. Okay, any questions so far? All righty. Next thing is, how do, you, how do you get started in play? Once you set up your profile and save it, you're going to get a prompt with a uh, kind of a dark pink button that says play this game. You'll want to click that, and then you're going to get directed to let's play and a welcome message into the GEC, GEC Connect game. So go ahead and click on that, and then you're going to get brought to a dashboard. Now, um, the screenshot I have here is actually the screenshot from last year. And one of the questions was, were we, were we the platform for GEC Connect last year? The answer is yes. Uh, we are under the name of Crow Moyer, and we have rebranded this year as Aludo. Um, so what you see here is a screenshot from last year from Crow Moyer. If you are in the game now and you see the dashboards, you can already see the um, notifications on the left-hand side of all the different people that are playing and the activities that they're completing. And then on the top are the um, top players and top performers. And that's based on how many points they have um, submitted and have been approved. So once you get to this screen, you just want to click Play GEC Connect. It's going to take you right into your player um, dashboard. So this is really where all of the activities and the learning come into play. Um, what we have designed, again, I mentioned three missions. You're going to see connections, sessions, and explorations. Under each of those mission topics are a list of activities. They're fairly simple, they're straightforward, but again, these are activities that will take you a few minutes to complete each one, but will get you more engaged in the GEC conference while you're here this week. Um, so how do you follow GEC on Twitter and Instagram? Um, there's information on how to set up your own social media accounts. And then there's information about how to get more connected with global education leaders while you're here at the conference as well as after. So what you'll do is click on the activity. And when you click on one, I, I pulled up one here just as an example. This one is follow the GEC on Twitter. Each activity has a description under activity of what you're being asked to do what the activity is, and then below that is an evidence statement. The way that Aludo works is it is evidence-based, and what it asks of the player is to either provide a description under where it says description under record achievement, or it will ask you to upload a file. So when you're looking at the activity in each item and the description under there where it says evidence, it's going to ask you to either include a description and or upload a file. So you just follow the instructions that we have here in the game. You write your description, paste a link, or you upload your evidence. And when that, once that is done, you click Record Achievement. 
Once you've rec recorded your achievement, you are going to have a couple different things um, happen. The first thing is, is you're going to have this yellow kind of a clock symbol happen once you've submitted something. What that means is, is you are awaiting approval. And the, the approval happens on the back end, on the administrative side. There are volunteers, myself, Lucy, and others who will be approving your activities while you're playing the game. If your activity looks good and your evidence is right, you're going to get it approved and it will go immediately from this yellow to a green color and, um, and a green check mark. That means you've received your points. If for some reason there is a, uh, an item that needs to be added, corrected, or something needs to be clarified, instead of getting a approval, you're going to get what we call suspended. And then what will happen is, is you'll get a notification in an email, and you'll also have on your game board, right next to the title, it will be red, and you'll have a pause symbol. And basically what will happen then is you'll have instructions on what was missing, um, what you need to modify, and then you can go in and resubmit your evidence. So the way that the game works, again, you complete all the activities. Um, not, I'm sorry, not all of the activities. You're, you're being asked to complete 100 points in each mission. There are some activities that are required, and they will be um, highlighted in red. So the ones that are required or mandatory you want to complete that are in red. But you'll go into each mission, complete roughly about three activities, sometimes three or four, and then you'll receive each of these mission badges, again, connection, um, sessions, and expiration. Once you receive all three mission badges, you will become the GEC champion, and you'll have this GEC champion badge. Um, one of the things that our platform does allow, in addition to the badging that's going to happen in the game, you will also have digital or what we call an open badge. For those of you that are not familiar with open badges, open badges are they're like a micro-credential that you can achieve and can be stored online in a, in a digital format. Um, there are badge platforms. We, we are not a badge platform, but there are badge platforms out there like Badger, Mozilla, Credily, and others that are online um, badge containers or stores. So in the game, you will receive your badge, but it is also a digital badge that you can download, and you can create a free account on most of those badge platforms and upload it. Um, there is a player guide that is linked um, from the GEC main page area that talks about our game. There's a link to the player guide, and in the player guide is more information on the open badges if you're interested in learning more about that. Um, that is kind of the, the general overview intro to GEC Connect and the game. At this point, I'm going to open it up for questions if anybody has any questions about it and um, before I go into Aludo. Any questions or anything you would like to add, Lucy? We're looking for people who want to volunteer to approve stuff, too. So if you're interested, join the volunteer group, and I'll put you in touch with Julia. Um, you know, it's, it basically our conference is run by Steve and I, and, and we don't get a lot of sleep and that sort of thing. So it would be really helpful if we had some people helping out with that. Um, we tried to make the activities, you know, thank goodness last year, uh, Julia put in a lot of legwork last year, and we didn't have to do much to change it this year. And we wanted to make some things a little bit different um, because there will be people who will be doing this over again, obviously. So there are a few new things in there, or you can just choose activities you didn't do last year if you did this before. The one new, the one really new activity is working with um, one of our sponsors is Participate, which is a, a really neat platform for curating content. And they have a contest going on right now for people who are curating you know, global resources for International Education Week. And so I thought that I would tie into that. And so one of the activities is, is doing that contest. So um, it's kind of, uh, you know, it gets you into their platform and also, you know, it helps you, you know, get resources that you can share with other people in a collected uh, environment. So make sure you take a look at that one. 
Um, and anyway, we're just really grateful to have Aludo here and uh, helping us out again. And I hope that you guys will think about how this also might be potentially used in your schools. I think you know the reason we moved to something like this was people wanted certificates of participation, but I wanted evidence that people were taking in our content and using it in some capacity. So this is, is a, a nice, fun way of showing what you know a little bit and, uh, and having the opportunity to earn a certificate in an active way. So that's really been kind of the, the gist of it. Um, so I hope you guys will play. I think it'll be lots of fun. Let's see who will be. Um, I don't know, uh, Julia, did we, did we do a, a badge? Was there a, a leaderboard last year? Was it public? Yeah, absolutely. And we do have a leaderboard this year. I am, let me try this. I'm going to try and get online and I'm going to try and share with the participants if my internet will let me. Are you still there, Lucy? I'm here. Yeah, I didn't look it, like it was letting you go. Not liking it, but let me try. I usually use the web tour for like videos. I mean, it, it works with websites, but do you want to cooperate? Yeah, it's not even letting me uh, type anything in to the address field. That okay. seems odd, huh? Well, everybody can join. If you have a Google account, it's the easiest way to log in, right? And um, here's the link again. And, oops. and if you um, will try and get the certificates out to people who participated in the game by January 1st, so ideally you have a few weeks to complete activities. If you don't do it this week, you have some time. Um, right. Are we going to run, run it through the end of November like we did last year? I, so. I, I was thinking running it through December 15th. And okay, then, great. Uh, and, then, and then that way I can cut it off J uh, December 15th and start generating certificates and have them emailed out um, by January 1st. Okay, perfect. That's what I'm thinking. Well, let me um, definitely throw more questions or comments into the chat window as we're um, as we're going. I just have two, three slides that I wanted to share with you about Aludo. Um, the Aludo platform is it's a fully hosted software as a service solution. So basically that means for school districts and organizations, there's no burden on the IT side um, to download, to um, do any type of software. It's just log in and you're all set up. Similar to the GEC Connect game, the way that we work the platform with the um, districts and the way that it works in setting up accounts is all of the users and the players use the um, district accounts that they already have. So you don't have to set up a new account. You don't have to set up a new password. It automatically authenticates through whatever your district email is. And the whole idea behind that is the ease of entry into a platform. We feel like from a technology standpoint, um, one of the biggest challenges is ease of entry into a system and you lose nearly half half or more of the people that might be interested in doing this, doing something if they don't have the ability to log in quickly and use the technology. So we try to make it really simple through um, this hosted solution to get on, log in, and get started. And the platform Aludo can be used in an online type of an environment like we are using it for this conference where it's online, people join in from wherever, however, anytime, anywhere, but it can also be used for, used for blended um, professional development and learning. So imagine if you have a class and you have people that are in a class or in a workshop that are doing work and you have instruction, but again, you want that area where you want evidence to be uploaded and contained in one place. And so that's where um, our platform serves as both a standalone online as well as blended and collaborative. Um, the way that it works, uh, you are currently seeing the GEC Connect version with one game, but what you can do also as an organization or a district, you can set up multiple games. 
So a lot of the districts we work with have a teacher game for professional development. They have an administrator game for principals, administrators, classified staff. And then we also have districts that are now starting to explore student games. And it's getting really exciting because the student behavior and how they work within a gamified environment is really different than um, adults. And so it's been interesting for us as we move from how we were traditionally um, positioned as professional development primarily to student interaction as well and, and how the how our platform is evolving to support that. Um, Aluda does allow for personalization. So what you see at the GEC Connect game is you see the GEC badges and all the color and the customization for the GEC conference. We can personalize and brand for different districts so you have a look and feel and um, a theme, if you will, for the district or the organization. The other thing that's very new for our, um, our platform this year and what we feel like is the most important is what we're calling our community catalog. We have hundreds now of educators across the country that are developing learning content to be served up and supported on a Ludo for their organization and their district. The catalog allows all of these organizations and all of these districts to not only create games, but to share all of the content across all of these games. Um, it's really exciting for us because we feel that 70%, maybe 60, 70% of what districts are trying to solve out there, they're all trying to solve some of the same challenges, some of the same issues when it comes to professional development, when it comes to learning. And imagine if you have organizations and districts that you know of, that you respect, that you're working with and collaborating with that are creating content that you can leverage for your own district instead of recreating the wheel. Um, imagine as we look at global education, working and creating content in your country, in your region, that can be shared and supported across other countries all over the world. So this catalog allows individuals, districts, schools, and what have you to share that content. Um, and we love it. And it's just part of the platform. If you want to opt out and not share your content, you don't have to. but Nearly every organization and district we're working with today is very open and they want to share what they're creating. So we're pretty excited about that. Um, the next thing is oh, talking about just global opportunities. So one of the things people ask us is how, how are we unique? How are we different? What is it that we are trying to solve and support? So one of the biggest things that, came, that we came up against when talking with districts um, as we were creating and designing Aluto was how do you scale learning to hundreds and thousands of people and keep up with the, the um, content and the learning and the technology? When we originally started, we were really focused on ed tech and um, working with the ed tech teams and the curriculum and instruction teams and districts. And one of the challenges was not only how to four or five TOSAs support an organization of 500 to 1,000 teachers. In addition to that, it was how do we stay current on the content? Because we can send people to online courses and we can do workshops, but six months later, that technology has changed. Um, the content is new. Something is different. And so we were looking at a platform solution that would allow districts to not only support people in remote locations, distributed locations, or rural locations where people couldn't get sent to in-person conferences. We we're also looking at something that would allow us to adapt the content very quickly. Um, so this brings me to the next point, which is the incremental and bite-sized learning. When you go into GEC Connect, you'll see that the activities are two-minute, five-minute, 15-minute activities. Um, when it comes to adult learning, it's all around how do you come in, learn something, learn it quickly, and then apply it, which is where the evidence piece comes in. So we built the instruction and the activities around short, incremental, bite-sized pieces that you can digest, learn, and apply, and then move on to the next activity that would build upon that. So the idea is you do activities in one level, you master those, you move up to the next level and they get a little bit more complex. You master those and then you get 
to the next level and they get a little more complex. So there's this idea of building learning content in a way that's progressive and a way that allows individuals with a variety of different skill sets and at different skill levels to come in and work on the activities that are most applicable to them as well as choose the activities that are most interesting to them. Um, evidence of application of learning, we talked a little bit about that, Lucy mentioned it earlier, and the way the platform works is you as a designer can require evidence. That evidence can be uploading files, it can be sharing links, it can be sharing lesson plans. Um, for student learning, it can be information that the students are doing and links to, say, a Google Classroom or a Microsoft Team um, workshop type of a thing. So there's a lot of different ways that you can apply the learning and then share the evidence for people, again, on the approving side um, to view and then correct uh, and approve. The last thing is the, the catalog. I talked about that a little bit on the last slide. Um, currently, we have a great deal of content that supports, uh, again, professional development, professional learning for teachers and administrators, but we're also now uh, working on building catalog um, content for students as well. And that'll bring me to um, the last slide. So when we talk about uh, the catalog and beyond, what I've shared with you here is just a little snippet of the different content that is, has been built out and different games that we have developed as well as games that our uh, district, client districts have developed. So digital citizenship is huge. It's a very important topic. Uh, when we look at digital citizenship, we have games that are built not only for educators, teachers on how to teach on digital, digital citizenship, but we're also piloting a student digital citizenship game started last week and it's going to support um, seven to 8,000 students in secondary. Uh, nine through 12 is where they're piloting first and then in January they're going to go six through eight. Um, so far it's been extremely uh, successful for the students. The students go through a number of activities and at the end they write anywhere from a one to two page essay on the learning what they um, thought they knew versus what they didn't know and what they're going to do differently, and then the impact that they have as a digital citizen themselves. So it's really it's been really impactful to see the student reflection that's happening in this digital citizenship game with our students. Uh, the next thing is we have quite a bit of content and games around technology tools. Uh, we work with both Google and Microsoft districts. And pedagogical practices, SAMR, TPAC. There's quite a bit more now coming into play with makerspace and project-based learning. And then I just want to close here with um, global education. So the the GEC conference just started, and I've been in um, I've been in and listened to a couple of the keynotes. I've heard some of the um, the challenges, issues, maybe goals and visions. And when you think about global education, you know, there's digital citizenship, but then you also look at as a global citizen, um, expanding your professional learning network as an educator with, uh, with or without a platform like Aludo, it's crucial and critical to do that. And through social media and through technology, we have the ability to do that. What we believe with Aludo is we're providing a learning and a training platform for people that are not technical and not very um, technology savvy to be able to come into a place that is not intimidating, uh, there's no fear, there's no risk of being exposed for not being as technically savvy as you're supposed to be, and it's helping educators to really get connected, whereas maybe in previous ways or times they wouldn't do that. Uh, maybe they wouldn't have somebody to sit with them and walk them through how to get connected. Um, so it's really going beyond your district or your region and it's looking at it more from a global perspective. Also, the other thing I, I would include is the, um, the platform is just that. It is a platform. It allows you to bring any type of content into it that you want. So when we talk about cultural awareness, um, connectivity, trans transparency, and visibility, all that is something that you can build into the platform um, and really what it comes down to at the end of the day is giving the, um, the ownership and the empowerment of the learning and the choice back to the learner. So we're all about 
in this environment and, and in, on this platform, having the learners and the players go in and selecting what is most valuable to them, what's most important to them, creating a very positive, uh, personalized and choice-driven type of a learning experience. So that is it for me as far as um, background on Aludo. As, um, for questions, I'm open right now. If you have any questions on either Aludo, the platform, or the GEC Connect game. No questions? OK. Well, thank you all for joining. It was great to, uh, to meet you today. Definitely get online, gec.aludolearning.com, and join the GEC Connect game. It'll be running now through December 15th, and we hope you enjoy the conference as well. Thanks so much.